acoustics. We also have a development center, technology center established in Tampere, which is already part of SOB's global R&D organization. So the excellent expertise that we have in Finland is now supporting the Gripen EW system as we speak. And also we have transferred the command and control system capability to be able to support the Navy in the Squadron 2020 program. And this is growing continually in terms of capabilities. Going forward, I think independently of what's happening in the selection of uh, who is the winner in the HX program, so will continue to develop our capabilities in Finland. We are impressed with the competence that we see in, in Finland when it comes to engineering capability and research initiatives. So we will grow our initiatives with the Alto University even further into new areas. And I will come back to that in a couple of months time, what that is actually all about. Uh, but it, that is going to grow substantially. We continue our cooperation with DTT in many areas and we are now looking at expanding our technology center even further to support our, our international operations when it comes to the Gripen system from Finland, more than, during, more than only the EW side of things. So I want to underline that independently of what happens on the HX program, the partnership with Finland, with Finnish industry, with Finnish academia will be instrumental for SAAB going forward. So that will happen anyway. Coming to uh, the Gripen EF, this is really a game change in terms of the fighter system. Uh, it is a true multi-role system, of course, which is designed to operate in really high level threat environments, uh, denied airspace, used and adapted to operate in dispersed uh, air bases and road bases, and extremely easy to maintain in, in, in operations today with a high availability all the time during operation. It is also important to say that this is absolutely state-of-the-art technology when it comes to sensors, avionics and weapon systems. And we have an architecture in this system that is extremely modular. So it's future-proof for further development, which will take it a long way during the decades to come. We have an architecture that allows separation between tactical functionality and flight safety critical functionality which means that the user can adapt tactical functions very quickly depending on how the threat environment actually develops over time. So I'm extremely proud now to hand in the offer to the Finnish Defence Forces, which is a comprehensive, strong offering with many aircraft, large number of aircraft, as you can see, 64 Gripenese. We also have added two global eyes, and the combination of this, these systems gives a fantastic uh, connectivity and situation awareness, and the global eye also gives a uh, joint capability with information provided to all the branches in the Defence Forces. We have provided an extensive weapons package, uh, which is uh, absolutely state-of-the-art, and the numbers are substantial. And we have a uh, already taking big steps in the industrial participation. We have more than 100 projects, 118 projects is, uh, uh, planned, and already a number of them are, have been initiated, initiated as we speak.